everyone, hope you're well. I'm here today to film this super highly requested video that I know you've all been waiting for and I'm so excited to film. It's so weird to like think that people are actually interested in what I eat, um, especially because I do not by any means or stretch of the imagination have a super A healthy, B balanced, C anything like that diet. I'm really not someone to put on a pedestal in terms of that, but I know a lot of you guys just generally wanted to see this video and see like my favorite, when I mentioned in one of my last ones, like my favorite locale snacks and stuff like that, and just general snacks and tips and tricks of things that I like to eat. Lots of you guys have actually been messaging me like your photos of some yogurts that I recommended in my last video, so hopefully this helps some of you guys out. I've got so many things here ranging from super healthy to a little bit less healthy and just kind of like what tickles my fancy. I might start off with, I don't know, I've literally got them all laid out next to me. I might start off with something that I've just recently discovered. These are like my go-to things, especially in the last like month or two. I feel like since I have started working next to a co-op, I was like buying them when I just wanted a snack and I've just super got into them and you can get so many different flavors. And what I'm talking about is the Naked Bars. So I've never tried this, uh, flavor, but this is the peanut delight. My absolute favorite one is the lemon drizzle Then we have if you like this kind of thing carrot cake Then this is my new favorite um, and it's a blueberry muffin and um, I've also tried like they have a caramel version and I've also tried like a, they've got um, a chocolate coconut version if you have a sweet tooth if you really like after you've eaten you know your lunch or whatever to have something sweet or in the morning between breakfast and lunch you get hungry these are your saviors that's when i tend to have mine is kind of like between my breakfast and my lunch at work and honestly guys they are not like super bad for you so this is how many calories this is 35 grams that's 148 calories this is 149 calories this is Oh, my favorite one is less calories. This is 133 and the blueberry one is 130. So they're not like under 100, which under 100 um, snacks are like my favorite things to find, but I don't feel super bad eating them and they kind of sometimes get through that sweet craving that I have throughout the day. So if you haven't tried these, try them. And like, I really just like the packaging and all that kind of weird stuff. So definitely a favorite. This is another thing that I really like to eat. I'm not like super strict on my non-dairy anymore. I really should be, but I just, I really like dairy. So I'm not being super strict anymore. Um, but I do have a lot of dairy free alternates at home because a um, dairy does affect me and I am technically intolerant. I have been tested and B it gives me spots uh, or it used to, it doesn't really anymore because I don't eat it as often and C because they can be lower calories. For example, these, these are the Tesco free from gluten, wheat and milk chocolate chip cookies. Also, just as a side note, a lot of these like dairy free alternates especially contain nuts and soy. So just please read your allergens. Like I'm not, I'm just, I don't have any other dietary requirements. So just be careful. But these per cookie are 59 calories and they honestly taste so good. Like they taste like a, a real, like one of those cookies that you would just buy um, in the shops. Um, obviously they're not soft, they're dry, but they, again, if I'm really craving something, two of these is just 110 calories, so you're not feeling super naughty. And the really good thing is if you seal these again, they just stay fresh, and um, one of these lasts me quite a while. So that's another one of my uh, favorite chocolatey snacks. I follow a lot of vegan accounts and things like that on Instagram. Like, I'm, I'm really into, like, looking at things like that, and I don't know, I find the whole vegan thing really interesting. I'm not there by any means or stretch of the imagination, but I like to do my own little bit. And again, it's locale, it's um, normally, because obviously dairy is quite fattening, and um, you also feel like you're doing good for the environment, and because I'm dairy intolerant, technically. If you haven't tried these, these are the Nomo, which is like no missing out bars, and you can get them in different flavors, and you can also get them in big or small. I have the creamy chocolate bar, and I have the fruit and crunch choc bar. If you're vegan, especially, you need to try these. They sell them in Tesco's, um, like big Tesco's, and Holland and Barrett. When I last went to Holland and Barrett, they were sold out. I went to my local Tesco and there was loads there. So definitely, definitely try these out. 
If you like dairy milk chocolate, which I am, especially at the moment, like whenever it's that time, I like my dairy milk uh, fruit and nut comes out and I love it. These kind of taste slightly the same. I will actually show you one open because I may have had a couple of squares earlier. This is the creamy one. I feel like it's like all ASMR-y today. Like, <laughs> um, that's what it looks like. And it's re I probably prefer and I probably won't be buying. Everyone says this tastes like um, Cadbury's fruit and nut. It doesn't, it, I'm not gonna lie, like it really doesn't. But this, once you cut through and you start like eating it, it's very, very creamy. It's really weird how um, it literally doesn't have dairy, gluten, egg or nuts. So that's crazy. Um, so if you haven't tried this, definitely do. Um, Nomo, I love your chocolates. I also wanted to show you guys a cereal because I also find like milk, wheat, gluten-free cereals like really gross. But if you're a child like me and you love Cocoa Pops, please try this. This is the Tesco free from milk, wheat, and gluten Choco Snaps. I will admit, I never finish, like when I make this for myself, I never finish my bowl, which is horrifying. But I get like a bit, I never used to do it even with normal Cocoa Pops, but guys, they taste exactly like Cocoa Pops. They look exactly like Cocoa Pops. If you've got kids, um, if you've got kids and they like love Cocoa Pops, just like keep a spare carton of Cocoa Pops and buy these and substitute it inside and like lie because they won't be able to tell a difference honestly um they sometimes like i just fancy chocolate cereal like there's just days where i'm just like on the weekends especially where i just fancy it and this tastes so so good um and you kind of don't feel as bad eating them it says that 100 gram contains 379 calories which i never eat and then 30 grams contain 114 calories so i love this with the oat milk um it really really satisfies that like childish craving that you sometimes have um so yeah if you have kids again thank me later doing slightly more savory this is something that i always feel like i've got in my flat um when did i discover these i can't even remember but recently and it's the snacker jacks i just hit myself in the face it's snacker jacks and they're in the zingy salt and um salt and vinegar flavor i know they do like a cheese version and they probably do some other ones but i personally love like the super, these are like super sour. Um, the great thing is these are 41 calories per Snacker Jack. So you honest to God, don't feel bad eating them. Obviously don't go through a whole pack. I've had this for like a month maybe. And as you can see, like that's how much I've eaten. So sometimes if I'm like rushing out the door, let's say I'm going out to dinner, um, I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat. I'll have like one of these and it really does kind of like fill you up. And if you have a savory craving for like crisps, this kind of fulfills that. Um, I haven't tried other flavors, but I feel like 41 calories, that's like banging. That's like a really, really good snack. So definitely one of my faves that I always have in the flat. I might do um, bread alternates. So I have some low-cal bread to show you guys, but I thought I would do like bread alternates. My absolute favorites that I found are these, and I couldn't find them last time I went to Tesco's, and I think I nearly like burst into tears because they are so low in calories. It's not even a joke. And they remind me of Italy. If anyone who's watching knows Fitte Biscottate, which are like, um, they're sweet. They slightly have a sweet flavor. Um, little like wafer thins. I can't really describe, they're not wafers, but they're like toasted bread basically, but sweet. <clears throat> my hay fever is literally a joke. Like my voice is going. Um, these kind of taste like that, but savory. So you can have them with like a tiny bit of butter and like a little bit of ham or um, some cream cheese and you can honestly do so much with them. I love taking these into work. I love taking these into work and having them with a salad. And let me tell you how much each one uh, is in calories. It's 13 calories per one. And honest to God, like I don't ever finish the whole pack because I've only got one left. I literally finished this whole thing. This took me a while though, about a month and there's 10 in them. So it's really, really good. Um, I don't know prices of any of these things, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Like. I, I, sh I should, but I don't. Um, these come in two, four, six. So this is like a really handy lunch box kind of size. So essentially these are like 60 odd, maybe a bit more, 70 odd, 80 odd calories in that little bag. But I normally, if I'm at work um, and I'm being really good, I will only have like three tops of these. And it really, really does like give you that bread feeling, but without eating like a loaf of bread or having a sandwich. So if you are doing locale and you want bread alternates and you're like literally not eating bread 
These are really good because you kind of feel like you are, but you're really not. For a real good hot minute, I was eating Rivita. Um, I'm still not gonna like kick Rivita because I do like them, but I do find Rivita quite dry um, in texture. They do loads of different ones. These are the linseed and nigella seed. These are 38 calories per slice. So again, really, really low, but I find these way more dry to eat than the other ones. The other ones as well, they like remind me of my childhood. So it's just kind of nostalgic. Um, and you get five packs of four slices with the Rivita and they just look like this. I personally prefer the ones that come in packs just because I don't eat them like that often. So I don't want them to go dry. And normally again, if I take this into work with a salad, I will only have two. I won't have the full amount. Um, when I was being super locale, I would eat like two for breakfast and two for lunch. Can you guys see my little incense in the background? I always have incense um, at home whenever I'm like chilling and stuff. I'm an incense W-H-O-R-E for sure. Um, next we come on to bread alternates. Um, I have not had bread, like fresh bread in my flat for minimum a month now i just i'm not really buying it um just because a it goes bad if it's just me and i'm barely home c i didn't do a that's a b is um it is fattening and if it's there i will eat it and c it's yeah it's just too much temptation really so what i've been buying instead is things like this um i recently got some thin bagels again i couldn't find them in my local tesco's um, the other day I went literally on a, like a manhunt and I couldn't find them but there's so many of these around nowadays you just have to read the packet so I got these for example which I prefer the bagels these are the thins by Warburton's and these are the white I personally don't know if anyone else agrees with me right I went through a stage of eating brown bread like brown bread I used to love it I got really into it I used to hate it then I loved it um, and when I actually had my um, I had an endoscopy and um, endoscopy and colonoscopy real fun if you've had one of those message me down below great great fun right um luckily i don't remember a lot of it but i found that after that my doctor i think recommended me not to eat brown bread he was like yeah like actually weirdly a lot of people find like brown bread gives them more bloating and i really only ever really buy white bread now because i genuinely stopped eating brown and my bloating cut by like half which is really really strange but he just said that apparently um, my body is just really, really good at doing its job and it doesn't like brown bread. So I buy a lot of white, but obviously if you like brown bread, just go for it. These are 100 calories. And what I really like to do, which is a really good tip, is I'll just show it to you. These come as like this, right? I will never eat it like that, like a sandwich. What I like to do, and it makes you feel like you've eaten more, is if I'm gonna do like ham on it or something or um, have it with egg, I will have one and then I will have the other one. So you kind of feel like you're having two bits of bread, but you're not, you're having one. Um, and they're 50 calories each for each bit of bread. I know it sounds so ridiculous, but I feel like that's a very HRH collection thing to do. Alex, if you're watching this video, which you're probably not, uh, she should do this video by the way like I would love to see all her locale snacks um, Yeah, she's like the queen of stuff like that But I feel like it tricks your mind into thinking you're eating more bread than you actually are I will never have two of those and I also have really gotten into these and these are the mini white tortillas from Tesco And these are only 88 calories. I love these because in the morning I feel like is when I like to eat most of my carbs and I always have like one of these with eggs and then I'll have like ketchup or um, a little bit of something that I'm going to show you guys um, with it and I just feel like I'm eating bread but it's only 88 calories like it's really nothing um, so if you haven't tried these please try them and I really honestly recommend you guys to toast them do not microwave them because they taste 20 times better so in the morning when I'm getting ready I just turn on the hover oven I can't speak at the moment I turn on the oven and I'm like creating my own language and um, I just let these warm up for literally like a minute and they taste amazing I don't overheat them though because they go too crispy I am actually um, very very like embarrassed to say this because I shouldn't but um, I am a microwave rice kind of girl um, all my aunties will be screaming at the screen me saying this but because of my background but it's just like life. I'm not going to sit there and make rice for myself. Like I honestly, it's, it's just too much effort for me. I have a rice maker and I've never ever used it. A rice maker, a rice cooker. Can everyone just ignore me? I'm honestly, 
I'm not with it basically. I haven't been with it like this whole month. The microwave rice is only normally like 200-ish calories in a bag. And what I used to do is, which is awful, um, only eat half. So it's like 100 calories and then I wouldn't feel super bad about it. I found this in Tesco's and it's hard to find sometimes. So just bear that in mind. So you do have to kind of like look for it. This is cauliflower rice. This is all, all over Instagram, all over like vegan pages. You'll see like not this particular product, but just cauliflower uh, rice in general. You can so make this yourself. I, I will not even joke with you that I will, I've never cooked a cauliflower in my life and I'm very, very surprised if I will in the next however many years. Like it's just not something that I'm gonna be doing, but this makes it so easy guys. And if I tell you how much this is in calories, you will scream. This is, I'm not joking, values per 100 gram serving, 20 calories. 20 calories and this is a 200 gram bag. So basically this bag is 40 calories, this whole bag. Whereas like I said, microwavable rice is 200 calories. So if you're someone who really, really like, let's say you're on like a really um, low cal diet, you really like having rice and like meat, you know your rice and veg kind of meal. So you like to have your protein or your fish or whatever and then you miss your rice, you miss that kind of feeling of a carb. It stinks, like stinks. Honest to God, it, it smells so bad that I'm just like, I, I, I can't even believe I'm eating this. But what I do is I season it so much. Like I will put so much pepper on this. I will like make sure that it's really well seasoned, salt, pepper, and it kind of takes away the cauliflower and it kind of ends up tasting a bit more like couscous if you're kind of into couscous like a softer couscous so you need to kind of like close your nose when you're eating it um and kind of forget about it i also find if i let it cool down a little bit it doesn't taste as bad or strong and if you end up having it with like a curry or something or with something with a sauce you honestly legitimately will not be able to tell that much so Please say thank you to me for uh, recommending you guys this because it's kind of changed like how I eat rice and things like that. It even says here at the back, if 100 grams of this is 20 calories, white rice is 131. So I'm kind of right in saying that a uh, 200 gram bag of white rice is about 260 odd calories. So like crazy, right? Um, yeah, thank me later guys. This honestly is great. Okay, back to the yogurt situation. Um, I showed these in my last video and I absolutely love them. I'm holding so much stuff. Um, and you guys have been messaging me telling me you, you love them too. These are the Alpro, um, I can never say this word, dessert, that's it, moments. Um, this is the soy and hazelnut and this is the soy and coconut. Soy generally, like if you do your research, is not the most healthiest um option for ladies especially um so i try not to eat soy like if i'm having this like i won't have soy milk for example um throughout the week but these are if i remember correctly like under 100 calories if not slightly over and they taste so good if you love hazelnuts you will love this one like nutella and if you love coconuts you will love this one um i think i'll pro do like big pots of yogurt too not i think they do um, but I just never buy them because I just don't go through them. I'm not home enough to do that. Um, but I really love these. Again, if you've got a, a sweet craving and you're like super hungry um, for like something sweet, these cut through that and they're great for work as well. I take them to work a lot. And another one that I really enjoy, but I do sometimes find like I struggle to eat this one because I think it's quite a lot in a pot. Like I wish they did it in a smaller version, but I love this. Um, I've tried all the flavors. They have them in raspberry and strawberry. Um, passion fruit's quite nice, uh, blueberry I think they do, and then this one's the mango, and these are again the Alpro, can you tell I like my Alpro, um, and this is very very high protein um, yogurt, and it's the kind that has like the bits, kind of like the other yogurts. I'm, I'm, you guys are screaming at the screen uh, telling me what the name is um, but you know like when you were a kid and you had like the yogurt and then the compote and then you would like mix them is it compote compote I don't know like mix them um, you guys are just gonna be like Barbara's making up her whole new language in this video um, but I really 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 like this um, this is only 83 calories per 100 grams and I think this is 150 grams so just do the maths um, again, if you kind of fancy something sweet and fruity but not chocolatey, these are great. I do sometimes find though at work especially I struggle to eat a whole one because 
I don't know, it's just, it's quite filling and quite thick. I also have these, which are really, really lovely. Um, I don't have the box because my mum threw it away, but these are the uh, Coconut Revolution, Coconut Collab, something or another. And these are the salted caramel little pots. I don't know how many calories these are, but I might flash it up on the screen. Um, again, if you are feeling like you really fancy some chocolate and you don't want to be naughty and have Nutella on a spoon, but you kind of want that kind of thing, um, these are really good. I find the salted caramel ones are like nicer. Um, I think they do normal, regular chocolate. I've also found them in Lidl for cheaper, so watch out at your local Lidl. I love Lidl um, for stuff like that. This is my new love. This has changed my life because I haven't drank like cups of tea in such a long time. On the very rare occasions, more so recently at work, I will have normal milk in my tea, but like a tiny, tiny bit. Um, but I really, really wasn't drinking tea for the longest, longest time because I find milk itself just does not agree with me. But I recently discovered this. I was drinking soy milk, I was drinking oat milk, I was drinking rice milk, coconut milk, and nothing, and I will say nothing beats oat milk. If you haven't, like don't knock it until you try it is what I'm trying to say. If you haven't tried this and you're drinking almond milk, all that kind of stuff, stop, stop. Next time you go to Sainsbury's, Tesco, Lidl, whatever, get this because, or oat milk generally, because it honestly has the loveliest flavor. You know the kind of flavor, like I really like soy milk, but I just don't buy it because of soy. I don't, I don't love soy as an ingredient. Um, and this kind of has a similar like nutty but not a nutty it's oaty flavor is the only way i can describe it and it honestly tastes just so good with english tea like uh, pg tips or whatever um some of you guys might think that's really weird but it honestly tastes so so good i also love it in coffee when i drink it which i drink coffee super rarely especially at the moment because i had a really bad day of anxiety last time i drank coffee um and yeah it's just like honestly changed my whole life i love it in cereal i love it in like hot drinks and yeah i i just feel like please please try this if you're dairy free another one that has in my opinion changed the dairy free game is this i have found nothing that ever tastes like butter as much as this and this is the flora dairy free 100 percent plant goodness vegan spread don't know what this is made of don't care it tastes exactly like butter it's literally changed my life it melts beautifully because a lot of butters don't melt and it's so disgusting like vegan butters um i hate them i've tried everything i've tried olive oil spreads i've tried uh you name them honestly i've tried them and nothing beats this if you are converting from normal butter just go straight to this do not try anything else another thing that i really feel like is easy to substitute is mayo um i i say mayo i don't know mayo mayo whatever and vegan again don't really know what's in it which is my ignorance but as soon as i saw this come out like on all the vegan instagrams that i follow i was like I need to try this um it's saying for 15 grams this is 98 calories i do not eat 15 grams of this ever um but it's just like i don't know i just really like the idea i love normal mayo um but I don't know. I just like the idea of having a vegan one and it honestly just tastes the same. Another two of my favorites are these. I have to be very, very honest and like vegans, I'm sorry, please, you know, if there are vegans out there or people who are dairy free, let me know your favorite cheeses. But the one thing that I struggle with 100% is cheese. I just feel like vegan cheese, like when I try and eat it, it makes me like want to be a bit sick. Um, I've tried vegan parmesan. I nearly vomited like it was gross. The ones I tried, um, I've tried all the vegan cheeses that you can think of, honestly, I feel like, but I might not have, um, and I just can't get on with them, but I love this, and this is the Co Coco Dairy Free Soft Cream Cheese, um, honestly tastes amazing, I don't know if this is open, no, it's closed. If you're someone who is dairy free and you miss like a bagel with cream cheese and salmon, buy this, honestly, it tastes exactly like cream cheese, um, and it's so good, and in the exact same, like, avenue of things if you love cream like my mom cooks with double cream so much like creamy pastas um, and things like that you need to try this and this is the oatly creamy oat use a single cream cream substitute um love these i always have some in my cupboard especially for example if i'm starving and I don't have a lot in the fridge. I'll always be able to like make something with this. It's so weird. And it honestly just tastes like cream. Um, again, don't really know the calories or whatever. Like I haven't really cared, but it's saying 100 mils, which this is a 250 is 145 calories. And it's literally just oats, rapeseed oil, 
and stabilizers and things like that. So you can do so much with these. You can put them in like your drinks, I think, but I just use them for cooking. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Let me know also your locale snacks below or just general snacks, dairy free, all that kind of jazz. And I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye.